I think that the main thing about the Wallace Collection is the 18th century and how it demonstrates what a high point of culture and art it is. It's the whole thing, the furniture and the snuff boxes, everything in here is a treasure and it's like you make this jewel box for the jewels. Oil painting is a means for rich people to demonstrate their wealth and so you get musical instruments, their castle in the background and they wanted to use the medium of oil painting to show how wonderful and noble they were. This is Boucher's portrait of Madame Pompadour. Boucher was Madame Pompadour's pet. She helped so many artists throughout her life that she left the longest will in history. She promoted the arts like no other woman. My collection that was most inspired by the Wallace collection was a collection called Portrait. I wanted to use the things that most epitomised paintings. And for example, I chose pearl drop earrings because I decided that was the most typical jewellery throughout the centuries somehow. I designed a special hat that would look just as good on somebody in 1930, 1830, 1730, a sort of little trilby type thing. Um, I wanted canvas in my collection and even more I wanted an actual photographic painting and that is when I decided to choose the Boucher as being so typical and so pretty and I had it printed on corsets. There are probably more Bouchers here under one roof than in any building in the world. It's full of Boucher. He was very, very pr prolific, so facile that apparently he didn't use models. I think it's just so light and, I don't know, cynical. It's brilliant. <laughs> My manifesto is about culture and it's against consumerism and I believe that even um, that to pursue art gives you this wonderful, wonderful anchor. You can engage in politics, you can get a view of the world and you always feel that you're making personal progress. Here we have Fragonard's famous painting, The Swing. It's a very highly finished Fragonard. Um, sometimes he painted terribly, terribly sketchily, and that actually is the mark of French 18th century painting. It's ever so sketchy. This is very, very iconic. The lady all totally in pink, and it's all about the fact that she's not wearing any knickers, and this man has got a wonderful view right up her skirt. I mean, and the people in the 18th century would have known that immediately. We just think of it as a pretty painting, but it's actually typical Fragonard. The next collection I did featured very much Sèvres porcelain and it's all around you here. And I used these three wonderfully typical colours from Sèvres. For the turquoise colour I chose this um, teacup and saucer. For the Sèvres pink I chose the pattern on this pink tray here. For the blue, I chose these fluted patterns. The way that these um, flutes come down on the blue, that obviously lends you, you the idea of something that would look good on a dress. I'm just doing it now, it, would, it suggests that. When I work on collections in my studio in Battersea, I have students doing work experience and I always send them here. That's part of the work experience. Some of them haven't been, but then I make them discover this place. And I always say that the Wallace Collection is the greatest art school in this country. And I tell them, just, just remember when you go in there that nobody today could make one thing that's in there. Nobody today could paint even one little flower on a Sèvres porcelain. It's all lost. And I do believe that art is a mirror on life and that it gives us the depth of understanding how other people lived. And I have been inspired by it my whole career. <laughs>